I thought I'd do a uh, new video and basically what I'm going to do is show you games I've picked up recently like so first of all so I've got Dino Blaster it's, it's pretty much Bomberman it's just called something else in United Kingdom for the Game Boy version but I had this game as a kid I really enjoyed it and I really want to get all the games that I used to have back so I don't have the box or manual for this but the game is still awesome and I've picked that up next classic classic game Tetris on the Game Boy first ever puzzle game I've probably ever played brilliant game it was really really cheap as well once again just the cartridge no manual box, but awesome. Next up, I picked up Full Metal Alchemist for the DS. It's got the booklet and the, well, obviously the box. And it's not, it's an okay game, it's not that great, I guess, but it was really cheap, so what can I say? Next, Ninja Gaiden, Dragon Sword for the DS. I really like this game. It, it uses a lot of the stylus ability of the DS, but if, if you're a fan of Ninja Ga Gaiden on the, the old games, I would say pick this up. Next, for the PlayStation 1, I've got Assault Rigs. I don't know why it needed a double case like this, because there's only one disc. It's got like a manual and everything with it and someone wrote uh, the letter P on the disc, I don't know why, but the reason I got this game is I used to have it. It was really early PlayStation 1 game and it's pretty much just wireframe model tanks like shooting stuff. It's pretty fun, I like it. Uh, next, I've got Siphon Filter for the PlayStation 1. That's It's like a Metal Gear Solid type game. Um, the case is a bit broken, unfortunately. But um, it's got the manual and the game. It's really cheap, so... Yep, pick that up. And finally, i got Red Alert. Uh, unfortunately, it's the only PlayStation Platinum version, but still... Good game. It didn't actually cost me seven quid, as the sticker uh, says. It actually only cost me one pound. But I know this game is much better on PC, as strategy games seem to be. But this was one of the games that got me into the Commander Congo franchise and PC gaming altogether. So can't argue with the game for a pound, the box is in good condition, and it's got manual and both discs, so yeah, pretty happy with that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm going to get back to watching some Red Dwarf now, and I do these videos every now and again when I get some new games, and I'll see you in the next video.